Kicks and punches have their place, but a true master is said to be able to win a fight without throwing a single blow. Is this fact or legend? Rickson Gracie has fought masters of countless martial arts styles and beaten them all. He may be the best fighter in the world. Gracie is a master of jiu-jitsu, or grappling. He uses human mechanics to devastating effect. Gracie exploits anatomical weaknesses to bring opponents to their knees. A lot of fighters, they feel comfortable to fight away, kicking, punching, and stay away from you. The ground is pretty much home for us. I want to get close to my opponent. And once I'm close, I can either go to your body, to your legs, or even to your head. And once I'm here and I take you to the ground, you in my territory, and then here, I can choke you out, I can give arm bars, I can go a knee lock, any joint, that's Gracie Jiu Jitsu. The secret of Gracie's style is anatomy. Ancient Jiu Jitsu masters carefully studied the human body to find ways to destroy it. Their main tool isn't impact or even strength, it's leverage. Hinge joints like elbows and knees work best in one direction. Gracie finds ways to turn them in the other direction. He uses physics against the body's weakest links. Rickson has never tested his skill to the limit for fear of maiming his adversary. But finally, he has an opponent who can take it. Three, two, one. Rickson applies 600 pounds of lateral force to the atlas, the critical juncture of the skull and spinal cord, and the only thing holding the head onto the body. Too much pressure would snap the spine, paralyzing or even killing the victim. But Gracie inflicts just enough pain to force a surrender. He uses his entire body to trap the opponent, locking his victim's skeleton within a cage of muscle and bone. The human body is only as strong as its weakest link, and Gracie's art applies the most pressure to the weakest points to break down the entire chain. Victory is achieved without a single blow or a single mark.